Hi, I am Ray Mitra and I'm the founder of Inda's organization and we run our program Passport to World Arts which is really a virtual journey around the world with the passport in your hand and visiting different country and we call it the virtual journey because children are actually visiting different country without actually traveling. They're learning about different countries, culture, art, history, and they make an art project. And once they complete visiting one country, they get a visa stamp on their passport. So they feel very, very connected and excited with that journey. And this program was done in collaboration with FCAC and Fremont Library for eight weeks. It was a tremendous success. We had kids in the waiting list. And uh, today we had the opportunity to see the wonderful exhibition and the artwork of all the children and the parents and the parents were super happy um, to, to see this program here. I am very, very thankful to everybody for participating and this is a wonderful program and it was a, a great success. We are looking forward to bringing it in again and um, hopefully to many other centers as well. Drawing gives you that uh, beyond the boundaries you can go and explore, right? And that's what is lacking from our schools today. So far we have served over 150 schools all the way from Valley Hill to Gilroy. We are starting the program in Kenya. We have done one round in Kenya and uh, the second program is starting. We have started with uh, Nepal's art earthquake. We have started an art therapy program in Nepal as well. I'm Connie Chu. Uh, my background actually, I'm a paralegal. I just am also a uh, board member of the Fremont Cultural Arts Council. And I have loved this program. And does came up this great curriculum of teaching art to kids about the world and when we saw that we loved it and we wanted to help sponsor it and when they asked for volunteers I said okay I'll volunteer and uh, I, I really think that art is needed for kids to develop their brain uh, not only the STEM and so I really think art is important and not only in the schools um, and I wish they would bring it more into the schools but I am so happy that we were able to do this in Fremont um, at the library. Painting. Awesome. So could you tell us about your painting? Sure. What's, what's on the painting? I guess I had some guests over the weekend when I was showing them what they did in the library they were pretty excited. They said they have been sending their kids to art studio for five years and they never have got this much experience all together like from all over the country and the passport was a good experience because she was feeling like she's really moving around the world, traveling around the world, getting the stamps and uh, then getting like to see her own passport, writing the details in her passport and, and everybody was so amazed that kids can do all that. We have had this Passport to the World Arts program here at the Fremont Library. It ran eight weeks and I'm very happy that it was very well received by the kids. We got to talk to some of the kids and I'm always amazed at you know how much they love the program, um, how you know their creativity comes out because we just give them guidelines on what to do and then they take it from there. Each creation is unique and um, you know it's always amazing to see the kids love the program. Here especially I think I heard a lot of kids uh, love the travel component of it. Uh, you know they literally felt like they got to travel to each country without actually having to you know without actually visiting them and um, that you know that makes me very happy because um, travel is a passion I have and to get you know to get little kids to share that is something um, I really uh, liked. It doesn't st it doesn't present other cultures as though it's as though the other other culture is something from the moon. It presents the other culture as though this is just other people and this is how they do it. And, you know, it all seems like, oh look, these are just different ideas of how to approach the same thing. Which I think is a very, very important attitude in this kind of, of education and 
especially our kind of community where we have a whole lot of different cultures who have to be trained in school to respect and value each other and that's what this program does.